Pier docked in Cozumel. If we could just get there, I'm so excited. I think this one might be the one that's for us. Oh my goodness, y'all. Yeah. And then we found these little like dessert cookies out there. Yeah, it's, it's cool. We are taking a taxi back to the ship. Look at this ship. We're looking for Harry Loha. Oh, I like this one too. So we're heading back on the ship. That's it. Cosmel, it's been an amazing day. <laughs> we're going up the escalator, Corey. It's a great shot of your hands. I just saw that for the first time. You scared me to death. I thought there was like ice cream or something on the floor and I was about to step on it. Back on the ship, guys. We uh, just... Uh, we just kind of came in here and dumped the cameras and... You know, cleaned everything up, and now we're going to the hot tubs. We're going to try to, because the party never stops on this on this boat. So, <laughs> on this group, we had a great time. We had a great time out in Cosmo today, guys. Like I said, down on the pier, really would recommend you come uh, and check it out, see what they have to offer here, because I really do think you're going to have an amazing day. Now, hopefully, we can have an amazing afternoon in these hot tubs, and them not be packed and right. crowded like they were last night. Fat chance of that, though. They're the same size, I believe. Maybe the breeze is just a little bit bigger. I think she has a few more tonnage, like a few more tons, because it does have the um, uh, obstacle course or whatever, the rope course. And Dream does not. They should be getting ready to leave soon, actually. Truly and honestly. That is rather weird that that uh, ferry is just sitting out there. Hey, you guys, we're going in. We are going in. I'm so ready, I cannot wait. Look at that water, doesn't it look so inviting? Wow. Oh my God, we're having a horn battle. With who, the Liberty? is moving. The Liberty, I think, is moving. The Liberty's heading out. Yeah. Woo, I got scared. <laughs> I was like, oh no. It's vacation over, that's it. <laughs> Guys, I'm pretty sure we're going to sail away before the carnival ships do. I really wanted to see the breeze or the dream sail away, but I don't think it's going to happen. It makes me a little bit upset. I love those guys. I told them I've had a great cruise, like I really have, but I miss my whale tail. I really do. I really, really do. Like they, like I miss the mega deck party and the singing and I don't know, it's just the little things that I miss. Yeah. They look like they're having so much fun over there. And we're having so much fun over here, don't get me wrong. I just want to be a part of their fun too, you know? Oh my gosh, guys, look who we're here with before they go away. Thumbs up for the whale tails. <laughs> so many whale tails. Uh, it's the Carnival Breeze, the Carnival Dream, and the Regal Princess. So, guys, that has been our sail. I'll give you one final look. That has been our sail. Right back there is our favorite whale tails. We know and we love them. That has been our sail away from the port of Cozumel. Here, I'm going to give you one final look at the sea, guys. Well, guys, that was pretty much the sail away from Cozumel. Look at it back there in the background. There's the ships back there. So we are on our way back to Fort Lauderdale, but the cruise is not over yet, guys. We still do have an amazing evening planned for you, as well as a jam-packed day tomorrow. We are meeting with the cruise director, Jimmy, as well as we do have a bunch of eateries still to try. We're doing Chops Grill tomorrow. So these vlogs are not ending, but 
our beautiful island getaways have ended, okay? So with that being said, we're going to enjoy a few more minutes of hot tub time and then get ready for an amazing dinner tonight. We don't even know what we're having, right? No. No idea what we're having. It's a surprise. I hope, yeah, I it's hope it's something good. It's mystery food. <laughs> All right, that's it. There we go. We're gone, guys. All right, so guess what? We're late, as usual. We are, we are so late for dinner. Um, we were supposed to be at dinner or we were supposed to be getting ready for dinner and leaving right now. So we have, uh, we've got like, we've got like 20 minutes and we've got to like get out of this, get into something clean and uh, you know, get to dinner. So oh, that's better. Um, to the dining room. We're gonna go down and see what the weight is. So guys, it is, uh, it's 8.13 right now. I think we did pretty good, guys. We got I ready think, pretty quick. I think we got ready pretty quick. Cause so we each other at like We're seven, gonna go down eight. to, uh, look, it's white night, so. Um, Can I have the white? No, Corey's got white on. I have white. Oh, oh, I forgot to reverse these shorts. Corey's these shorts are them. supposed to be white. Uh, guys, these shorts are reversible. I forgot to reverse Oh, them. come on, Gwogs, <laughs> get it together. The whole time I think I have white shorts on. <laughs> Mama Hokum has got her white on. I've got no white on. I'm I'm in my uh, nice wear right now, and I'm, I'm going to change into my white maybe after dinner. Well, we're going to go down and see what the weight is, and if the weight is really long, then why don't we check right here? Remember? I don't know if, how accurate that is. Ain't like nothing else. It was red, green, and yellow. That's it. Current occupancy. Green. Green. green so go. Go. yeah, green means good. So hopefully there'll be no weight, and we can get right in and let them know that. Go five. No. Uh, we don't want to do this. Yeah, yeah, do five. Yeah. Oh, uh, we do that to ourselves every night. We always walk through the smoking scene. That's awful. <sighs> All right, guys, we have to hurry. Okay, we have to like let the waiter know and everything. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the fabulous Corey and Mama Oka. You're doing too much into it now. Come on, let's go eat. Stop the foolishness, kid. So we did actually make it in here to dinner rather quickly. Um, we pretty much, I would say, got seated almost immediately. There was yeah. just one family in front of us. So uh, with that being said, here is our menu. We are on like a little bit of a time crunch tonight. So I'm gonna cut the chit chat. Here is our menu for tonight. There is the entrees. You see them on the left. And then now dead center is the main courses. And finally, the desserts for tonight, this uh, Cozumel evening. You can pause the video if you want to look at that a little more in depth. Not too sure what I'm going to get. We were looking at the steak, Diane, maybe. Um, also, I would like to know what the fish of the day is. I could also always get that. As far as desserts, I think I'm going to do the royal chocolate cake today. And maybe... Have you done the cheesecake at all? I have not, so I need to do the cheesecake. So I'm going to get the royal chocolate cake and the cheesecake. I would get the one this time. It's okay. I'll do, I'll do, I'll take bam, 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 bam. And then, um, pork tacos. I'm getting those. That's, that's what I'm getting. I think I'm going to get that too. Yeah. Yeah. Where's that? Asian pork tacos. Asian style pork tacos. Sweet chili, scallions, peppers, red onions, and pork crackling. Let me just remind you, anything on here that's Asian flavored. Is a little bit spicy. I know. I know, but you know what? We won't ever actually know until we try it, right? What are you thinking? I'm thinking the pork tacos and the garlic shrimp. The gar Where do you see garlic shrimp? The first time, Shay. <laughs> How did I miss that? <laughs> How did I miss that? What about you, Corey? I'm going to do pork tacos. I think I'm going to do the iceberg wedge, too. The iceberg wedge? Yeah. We, I was I was making a joke that we, me and my mom actually had that on MSC, right? Yeah. Oh no, the steakhouse, Fahrenheit 555 on the steakhouse. It was really, really, it was, I mean, it was good. It was just a lot of food, so just keep that in mind. What are you going to do for your main? Um, I'm going to do the steak Diane, too. Yeah? That sounds really good. And then Mama Hokum, what about you, boo? Iceberg. Iceberg and what? It would depend on if it's the steak of the day, I don't know. Um, if not, steak Diane. Okay, you mean the fish of the day or steak yeah. Diane? Yeah, that's where I'm at. I want to see what the fish of the day is. So, I don't know, guys. We're, I mean, I think, I think we can do it. We have an hour and a half until show starts. 
right? We have plenty of time. I think so. If we can get them, you know, we let them know like we Let's need to be out of here in an hour. Yeah. yeah, I think we can do it. Oh. Guys, I want you to look at this. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now normally, I would sound like a crazy person for squishing some bread and sounding super excited about it. <laughs> but guys, this bread is soft. This is some of the first, we had it last night. This is some of the first soft bread we have had this entire cruise and, and get this, it's moist. <laughs> wow, right? That is normally a crazy person talking to say something like that. But it's a little thing. So, for some reason, the food has magically gotten better <laughs> the further the cruise has went on. And talk about this huh. bread. This has become our favorite. Yeah, this is a, uh, what, what is it? Pumpkin. pumpkin seed. Yeah, it's pumpkin. They actually have this one on Carnival as well. It's pumpkin seed, and it is actually really, really good. I started out just being like, eh with it and I've actually really come to like it. It's a really, really I good tasting it. bread. Yeah, I really do enjoy now it. I have to get it at home. <laughs> right, yeah, we'll have to figure out how to make it or find it or something. <laughs> New video. <laughs> yeah, so we did just get our appetizers, guys. We let them know that we have a show and he's gonna try and accommodate us as best he can. So we, these are the what, the... Asian style pork tacos. Yeah, the Asian style pork tacos. They look really good. They actually reminded us all of the, uh, the, the, the sticky buns um, from a Pudo. What was it? Pork buns. Pork no, buns from. My uh, mouth is blind. Huh? My mouth is Huh? <laughs> That's somebody else. They remind us of like the pork buns in New York that we had back in December. Eddie uh, Yeah, Eddie Pudo. So if you if you want to go check out those vlogs, definitely go check them out. They're the NYC uh, Christmas special vlogs. Then Mama and Corey both got the iceberg lettuce, and of course he also got the uh, the uh, pork buns. So. I'm excited to see how it is. Bacon. Thank you, Mom. So I'm really excited to see how these uh, sticky buns are going to be. They look good. Are they spicy? No. No? no? They're really not. They're really okay. not. Good, good, because there's red pepper in there, so I was yeah. nervous. Guys, we just got our entree. The um, the appetizer was pretty good. I really, the, it had a great flavor, the uh, pork bun. I didn't care for all of the textures that was going on in it. I still ate it, it, was, it just wasn't my favorite. Um, these guys really, really liked it. You thoroughly enjoyed it. You thoroughly enjoyed it, right? And then how was your, uh, how was your iceberg? It was good. Yeah, no, their, their uh, iceberg, it looked really, really flavorful, really, I don't want to say juicy because it was blue cheese, but it just had a lot of texture, a lot of moisture to it. It looked really good and yummy. So, um, here is the Diane steak, right? Is that how you say it? Steak Diane. Steak Diane. Steak Diane. Uh, it looks like a steak, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't know. Um, I've got some asparagus down there, a baked potato, and it looks like a tomato, maybe. I don't know. This might be for decoration more than anything. Corey got the same. Uh, Mama Hogan got fish. Whatever the fish of the day is. Is I it good? It's a white fish. Uh -huh. So yeah, it's it's not bad. Uh huh. Yeah. I'd say there's probably other fish I like better, but it's okay. Okay. And then Peter, what did Peter get? It's a, a garlic shrimp. A garlic shrimp with rice and is that spinach and asparagus. some tomatoes and asparagus. Wow, that looks yummy, buddy. That looks really, really good. So, guys, we do have to kind of hurry and eat. It's 9, 10 right now. Showtime is at 10 o'clock tonight. So we gotta get going a little faster here. <laughs> we do have dessert here tonight. Um, it's 9.37, so we gotta eat our dessert in like two and a half minutes, okay? So I ended up getting the royal chocolate cake as well as the cheesecake. Corey got, he ordered tres leche cake. We both don't think it looks like tres leche cake. What, is it, what does it taste like? I don't even know. <laughs> the texture's nice, it's just a sweet taste. Yeah. It does look rather yummy. And then he also got the cheesecake. Mama Hokum got the cheesecake, which is almost gone. And she got... <laughs> Cherry's Jubilee, correct? Mm -hmm. Cherry's Jubilee. Um, yeah, let's see how it is. Yeah, let me see if I can get in close for you guys. Oh wow, look at that. Yummy, yummy. How is it? Hello. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is that face? Whoa. <laughs> what is that face? It's got red wine in it. Really? You can smell it. Really? It's supposed to be a no sugar option. 
Huh? <laughs> it's a well, I don't know about that, dude. <laughs> and Peter got the cheesecake and the royal chocolate cake right along with me, guys. So we are gonna chow down really quick and try and get to our show on time. I think we can do it. I think we can. Guys, the um this royal chocolate cake, mmm, so good. The cheesecake, really, really good too. Like, really, really good. It's just too much food. Dinner was great, guys. We got 14 minutes, 14 minutes, 14 minutes. Just showtime. 14 minutes, we can do this. So pretty. Guys, this thing is always on when we come in after dinner. It is. I don't know if it's like a timed thing or what. Hey, up, how are you? Good. We did just meet with an awesome guest, Steven. Thank you so much for watching, Steven. It was great to meet you guys. That that brings up a great point. That if you do ever see me out on the ships, please stop by and say, hey, I would love to speak to you and just you know see where see where you guys come from and hang out with you for just a minute. So we are here in Blue Planet. It does say no recording. I'll see if I can grab just a little tiny preview for you. But again, uh, with most of the shows here on Royal Caribbean, if you want to see them, you do have to come to the ships and you do have to watch them. They're going to be amazing. I know it. Show was amazing tonight, right? Yes. Blue Planet Absolutely guys. Absolutely the best show on this. Is it show. right down here, Studio B? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, right yeah. down here. Go this way. We're going to Quest, the game show. I'm not sure. Can I film in here? Probably not. <laughs> oh man. They said it's not going to be raunchy, but who knows? You know. Oh, hey, 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 hey. possible to run it down. I'm passing it up to you, team captains. Team captains running out here to me. Now, team captains, all right? Team captains down here on the floor. I want to inform you that I do have 2020 vision. So there's no need to run down here and put your number in my face <laughs> like this, all right? Everyone say, hey, Cameron. Hey, Ladies and gentlemen, this is Cameron from RCTV. He is recording this event tonight. So team captains, I do ask that as you're running down in here, please be aware of the camera because you can see him, but he cannot see you. So we have team number two back there. Uh, number, here we go. Next quest is I'm looking for your team number and a bobby pin. Team number and a bobby pin. Team number three, team number four. show of um, ice games at 3.30 right in here and a great farewell finale parade plan for you at 7.45 but right now the champions of the quest game show everyone it is team number Crazy fun. It was fun, but it was crazy. So we just popped up here up on the uh, 
up on I guess deck 16. I want to say Lido, which we are on Lido. There's like a view at night of Lido. It's rather rather pretty out here. Yeah, it is rather. Uh, I like it out here at night. It's nice and calm. There's actually there's actually a total of five ships surrounding us tonight. Um, there's what one, two on this side, and three on the other side. Yeah, so. We're not alone for once out here. Quest was really fun. It was, uh, it, it got a little interesting there. So I, I wasn't able to record some of it, but it, uh, I mean, it was a fun show. Jimmy put his, his own spin on it, so I, I really think it made it unique and fun and interesting. Um, so guys, I think we are going to finish it out right here for tonight. Uh, we've had a long, long, long day. Uh, an adventurous, fun, exciting day in Cozumel and... Just, uh, I'm ready to go to sleep. I really am. I told these guys, I was like, I'm falling off the wagon right now. I don't know if I can do it anymore. <laughs> so tomorrow we do have a meeting with uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Rhodes, the cruise director here on board. Uh, so that will probably be a separate video, but just look out for that. Uh, it'll probably be on a Saturday, or I don't know when I'll post it, but I'll post it sometime either shortly before or shortly after this video. So Depending on how it runs. Yeah, depending on how it runs and everything like that. So, guys, like I said, that is, that is going to do it for us tonight. Tomorrow is our last sea day here on board. You do not want to miss all the fun that we have in store for you. We will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. <laughs>